Um, this is my eight-year-old French press and I haven't used it in quite a while. When I started learning about coffee the, the right way, most articles and most vlogs would say this is the worst way to do your coffee. But recently, um, the Immersion Brew has been picking up. And you can see it a lot in AeroPress. You can see it in Hario Switch. You can see it in a Clever Dripper. And the only difference is the filter. The French press uses uh, steel mesh, so it's different from a paper filter. And with all the techniques that I've learned in the past year or so, I, I, I suddenly found myself wondering if I can rethink the French press. So first, the problem is the steel mesh filter. Second is the brew time. Um, normally, if you get a French press, they would recommend you to steep your coffee grounds for four minutes. That's it. The instructions normally wouldn't even say the grind size. And then put hot water. Um, they wouldn't even tell you what the water temperature should be. And the instructions would tell you to wait for four minutes and then press and then you can pour your, your drink. After learning a lot about AeroPress, the Hario switch and the V60, I think we can incorporate um, I think we can incorporate more techniques into this. So yes, that's what we're gonna do today. And mind you, I haven't I haven't even tried this. So please bear with me and then <laughs> we're gonna do some arts and crafts with our with our paper filter, all right? Oh look. So we have another French press here with the same steel mesh. Um, I want to try if I can also remove this. Ah, it's not, it's not, it's not removable. So uh, it's a cheap French press that we got from. Well, someone gifted it to us. Maybe we can use this some other way. But I was I was actually hoping that we can we can just put an AeroPress filter here. Oh, it would have been easier. Look at the size of that. Um. Anyway, um. can also do that I think let's do it in this uh, French press because this is the one that I can actually remove the paper so I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a Kalita wave filter because this is round already Yeah, look. Okay, and then oh, maybe maybe there's no need to to cut it out. Okay, um let's get the center first. Okay, to get the center, <laughs> to easily get the center of your um round paper filter you just fold it in half and then fold it in half again and then the tip of the triangle that's your center so you can just cut just a little bit and then you have a hole right in the middle so oh I think this is gonna be good okay Ah, this this actually looks quite nice. Okay, earlier I was actually thinking of using the V60 paper filter, but then I, I saw that I have I still have a lot of um, Kalita wave filters lying around. So, oh. 
Okay. Now we'll get our beans. Uh, most grinders, they have a chart. They have a grind chart. The coarsest setting possible. It's mostly labeled the French press. It's the French press size. And for Comandante, that is 40 clicks. But I'm thinking maybe we should do 35 instead. Um, and then instead of following the conventional French press, um, French press techniques, I would actually, I was actually thinking of doing it differently. So we're gonna do a bloom. Um, it may sound funny, but this is an experiment. So let's see if it's going to be any good. Timer, and then we're gonna do a bloom. Um, you don't actually need a gooseneck kettle to do this. So I poured I poured 30 ml for the bloom, just so that we can um, we can submerge all the coffee grounds. And then we're gonna wait for 45 seconds, and then we're gonna do the we're gonna do the rest of the water. Okay, 45 seconds in, and then we're gonna pour the rest of the water. One hundred and fifty ml. We're going. We're gonna carefully put the plunger in. Make sure that we have the paper on all sides. Before we, before I give this a try, um, are you wondering why I thought of um, rethinking how we use the French press? The way they do professional coffee cupping is, um, so you put coffee grounds in a cup and then pour water and then wait for the coffee grounds to settle before taking a sip. It actually sparked something in my mind that that's literally how, how the, the French press makes coffee. But there is the steel mesh filter. Why don't we simply remove the problematic part of the French press and then put the paper filter instead? So that, that's what I thought. Okay, let's try this coffee now. The, the color is a bit light, so... Ah! It's actually quite good. This, this cup is actually drinkable. Even the texture is way better. Of course, that's because we, we use the paper filter inside. It's a bit on the lighter side of things. Um, the color is light. The, the body is very thin. Um, but the profile of the beans is there. Um, it's a, it tastes a bit diluted. Um, maybe I just needed to may, maybe I just needed to steep the coffee grounds a bit more. Maybe maybe do two minutes next time. But this is a drinkable cup. If you, if you have an old French press lying around or if you have an old French press that is really, really sad, at the back of your cabinet, uh, maybe, maybe you can give this a try and give your French press another try. Oh, look at this! This is eight years old, and um, I think we can give it another chance. Maybe easier to do big batches on it. Yeah, the cleaning may be a bit harder. No, actually, it's going to be a lot easier because of the paper. Yes, do you remember how, 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 hard, the, how hard to clean the steel mesh is? When I open this, there are still coffee grounds stuck in it. And fine particles too. 
<laughs> so with the paper filter, yes, you're gonna have to disassemble and assemble it every time, but it's going to be a lot easier to clean it. And you're gonna be sure that it's clean, unlike the steel mesh. Yeah, there's still some coffee particles stuck in there. Again, if you have an old um, French press there, give this a try, give it another chance. And then maybe, just maybe you'll, you're gonna like it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, see you in the next one. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!